Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a mixed B&M and home bargains haul. So let's get cracking. Hiya, so I went to Home Bargains and B&M just in the local town where I live. Sorry, I've got an itchy nose. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, and because the Home Bargains is quite small, I thought I'm off to I'm off to B&M. Right, I'm off to B&M because that's quite a big one in the town where I live. So I went down both of them and I've got a bag from each. So I thought I'd put them together rather than just doing little mini hauls. Stick them all together. I don't think I've ever done this, you know. But anyway, this is my first one where it's a mixed haul. I'll show you what I got. Let me put my gigs on. I've got quite a lot of Christmassy stuff. I'm not going to lie about it. And I've got some housewares and bits of stuff. Right, what we're starting with. Let's start with own bargains. Right, okay. So let me show you. First up, got some toilet paper. <laughs> right. I'm going to have to put prices of all these on screen. Alarm going past. Right, now in part I had to like do this all because I needed to open this toilet paper and right down at the last bit of a roll. So thought I better crack on with these. They smell of something though. Oh my goodness, enriched with lotion and fragrance. That's a bit posh, isn't it? Is that middle class toilet paper? Or can it be the fact it's come from home bargains? I'm not sure. Say what, that's a lot posher than what I normally get. I normally get like Asda value stuff. Yeah, that smells really nice, although I have just blotted my lipstick on it. So, yeah, honestly, I really needed to open that. Then what else did I get from them? Oh, I got this scrunchie. I just loved it. They had these in a Santa Claus or in a reindeer. I thought the reindeer were cutest. It has got two antlers, but one's like, you know, slightly cockeyed. <laughs> yeah. This were just cheap as well. Christmas cracker body puff. Right, I just thought it were really sweet. Thought stick that in the bathroom. It'll be my new one for Christmas. So really happy with that. I love that they do stuff like this. Useful as well as decorative. So super happy with that one. It were cheap as I would. Oh, then I've seen these little paper cups. Now they had two designs of these as well. But I went for this one. Because I bought some paper plates, but I, they, I didn't end up getting the paper cups. So when I seen these, thought I'm getting them. 10 party paper cups. Let's have a look at what they're like inside. See if they are actually cute. Or if it's just on the wrapping, you know what I mean? Oh no, they are. They're all the same. Little penguins on them. They're really cute, like those. Might take those up to my daughters for little boys, you know what I mean? So... Happy with those. They were only cheap as well. I think they had plates as well, but I prefer the plates that I'd already got from Poundland, <laughs> which were red and white and a bit glitzy, you know. But I think the kids will love those. Oh, then I've seen this colouring book and I just loved it. It's a colouring and activity book. Now, you could get this in a few different ones, so 69p. But when I opened it, it had some little stuff that you can punch out. Look, little baubles and tags and things like that. Thought kids would really like that, you know. I, sh I should have got two, really. What were I thinking? It's got a little Christmas card and things like that. I'll go back and get another one for other one. You know what I mean? For other little boys. So, but really happy with it. For 69p, like I say, colouring activities to complete. Uh, find the missing stickers, then doodle, trace, colour and complete a festive scene. Have I got stickers? Looks like it has. Oh my goodness, look at all those stickers. They love those. Stickers used to be quite pricey when, you know, when my kids were young. We used to have to buy them from Woolworths if you wanted nice ones. But you get all those stickers for this, so that's great. My daughter will be finding them for months afterwards, you know. She'll be cursing me. Oh, what else did I get? Got myself some paracetamol. Now, I'm just being poorly. I'm still quite poorly now. And um, when I first got poorly last weekend, I didn't have any paracetamol in the house. No paracetamol, no ibuprofen. I had to do a delivery after 48 hours of lying in my bed because I literally could not get up. I did a delivery and managed to get some neurofen from co-op because that's the only tablets that I could get. But this, I thought it was like 20 odd p or something. So I thought, brilliant, I'll have some in from now on. How many did you get? 
16 tablets that's okay you know i don't need them that often just when i'm poorly although at the moment i'm poorly more than i'm not you know shocking my immune system must be shot then i got myself this pillar candle now i were looking actually for you know the long just normal candles i was looking for those but they didn't have any and i'll show you why i needed one of these in a minute when i show you my stuff from b and m but I absolutely love this. So this is warm apple and cinnamon scented candle. I think these are about 79p. Smells gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I will be using that on a candle stand that I got. I'm hoping it'll fit on it. Because I think it's supposed to have like just a little candle. You know, one of the long tall ones in it. But like I say, I couldn't get it. So I thought that'll actually stand on the top. Watch it walk. It'll be like my light bulb situation. Where I've literally bought three light bulbs for this blinking lamp that I've got. And I've never managed to have the lamp on yet. Because, no, I've bought four. Because I bought two that were a bayonet fix. Thinking that's what it was. It wasn't. It were a screw fix. So then I bought a screw one, screw light bulb. It were too small. Then I bought another screw light bulb. It were too big. So I still haven't managed to get a light bulb for that lamp. I should have got it at the same time. Uh, um Dunnell Mill, which is where I got the lamp, but never did. So this might be another one of those episodes. But in any case, I'll put it on a plate if it if it don't fit on that, you know. Just dropped it on the floor now. What else did I get? Okay, got this. White chocolate snowman. Starting to get bits of stuff like this just to put in little bags and stuff for kids. So really happy with that. Thought it were really cute. They had another one as well. It might have been a reindeer, might have been a Santa, but I, by far I preferred the little snowman. Thought it were really cute. I liked his little hat. And I liked his little face. Looks like his hat's fallen down over his eyes. I don't know if you can see that, but I just really loved it. And he, uh, is it by Thornton's, this? No, is it Eckers like? Don't be soft, Kim. <laughs> it's by your own bargains, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's like there's a look that it could be from Thornton's though, you know. But I mean, I can't eat this, but I'm sure, I don't think I can. I'm sure it'll have milk in it. Yeah, it's got milk in it. So, but I'm sure one of the kids will absolutely love it. So that's one of them. They've got all that kind of thing in at the moment at Home Bargains. Oh, they, I did get this for myself, coconut milk. Because if I'm not going to like Asda or Tesco's where they've got the world food aisle, I refuse to pay the price for coconut milk, right? But I do love it. I love it on like jasmine rice. I love it on vegetables with just chilli. Absolutely love that. So, um, and this is like one of the cheapest ones you can get. So rich and creamy coconut milk. That does me three or four meals that, you know. So, because only me. So, I, but I really like it. It's as nice as any other ones. I can't, can't tell the difference between them, you know. But then, you know, I don't know that I've got particularly good taste. And you'll probably realise that. Oh, then I seen this and I thought it was really cute. It's some bath fizzes, but they're in the shape of a little snowman. They're just three. You get two bigger ones and one smaller one. But I just thought that was so cute. Thought that would go in somebody's little bag as well with the goodies for Christmas. So really happy with that one. They had another one of them as well, but I, I much preferred this one that were in a little snowman. Thought it was cute. There's no on the actual bath fizzes, you know, they are just plain. But I just like the packaging of it. And I like, you can hook it on your Christmas tree if you wanted. You know, I wore, I've got plenty of baubles on my Christmas tree, but you know, I thought it was really cute anyway. It's nice to have the option. So next up, what did I get? Oh, this is my last thing that I got from Home Bargains. No reason, just thought it was funny. Right, so it's a light up nose and um, some antlers. Gonna try them on for you. So let's give this a go. I'll wear these at work, you know, I'll take them in for work. I thought it were really cute. They've got these windy things though. I hate these windy things. You spend all Christmas morning, you know, like trying to undo these to get kids toys out of the packaging. Which way around does this go? I honestly never know whether I'm making it tighter or looser. There we go. Perfect, it's, it's working. So it's got a flashy nose on a bit of elastic and then some antlers. Thought that would be brilliant. You can see me walking into work in this car, yeah. Skate babies after death. But I'm sure older kids will think it's funny, you know. Honestly, the stuff I do. 
So that's that one. It were only cheap, but it's a nice bit of dressing up. I think you have to put, I think it's the heat that makes it operate, is it? Or is it just when you press on it? Oh no, it's when you pull string, look. When you pull elastic, it goes on. So really cool, looks like a little cherry. So nice. And then, oh my days, excuse me. I'm just um, glowing, you know what I mean? I'm still a bit poorly, so <laughs> I'm absolutely baking hot. Ring lights melting me. Right, next up, B&M. And I got some really nice bits from B&M. Okay, so first up I got this. So I'm looking at my backdrop and I thought this space here, where, are you, where am I looking? There, right, looks really empty. Want to put something in it. So seeing this, thought brilliant, I'm going for that. It's just a bit of gold uh, glitzy leaf thing, but you can bend it outwards like so. It was four pounds, which I thought were a reasonable price. Although there were cheaper things, I thought that's going to fill that gap really nicely behind me. So yeah, loved it. I'm sure you could use it for all sorts of stuff. You know, if you're making decorations and stuff, you could cut bits of these off. But I'm just going to leave it as it is. Stick it in that vase and get it bent over slightly that way. There. There. Where's my gigs? Put my gigs back on. After I've been rude all for a few minutes. Yeah. So it's going to go sort of there. Over there somewhere. So yeah, I love that one. Absolutely love it. Then I got myself a couple of picture frames. Now... When I was my ex-partner, I made him a family picture wall, right? Didn't have any of my kids on it or me or out like that, just him and his kids. So I made him a family picture wall. I thought, why didn't I do one for myself? You know, I went to all that trouble doing one for him. So I bought myself some frames that I thought would go in here. This one's one for one ninety nine, really nice. It's just like a plasticky thing. They had it in all different colours, but I like this because I thought it would fit into this room. And then I love wooden ones, but the wooden ones were the wrong wood. So I ended up going for this more grey one that's like a box frame. That were, what's that say, One ninety nine as well. Now if these, I wanted to check whether these would work out for me. If they will, I'll go back, get some more of these. And then try and find myself some gingery brown ones as well. That will go with some of the wood that's in here. Really like them. And like I say, I'm going to over there. Right, on my chimney breast bit, I'm going to do a family picture wall just with pictures of my kids and stuff like that. My mum, you know, my siblings, things like that. So I've got a nice family picture wall. So I love those. And that'll get me started on that. And then what else did I buy? Oh, right, I bought this. Now, if you saw, or even if you didn't see... My decorating my Christmas tree, um, it was £3, obviously, it says it on it. Right, I had bought a star for the top, but it just didn't fit. This bit on it, on me other one, were just too narrow, and the branches on my Christmas tree are quite fat. So, I bought this. They had this in different colours as well. They had it in silver and gold. That I wanted either pink or red. Couldn't see the red, so went for the pink. I thought, this will go on top of my Christmas tree. My mum had bought, had bought me like a makeshift angel, but it was about that tall. So I, it was just too small for me, seven foot tree. So I thought I'd get this one and I'm really happy I did. It looks like it's going to go. I can see my tree from here and it looks like it's going to go. And that will definitely fit over the branch. So I'm really happy with that one. And I thought three pound were a bargain. They had beautiful Christmas decorations in B&M. Absolutely beautiful ones. And with hindsight, I might have gone there and got myself some other decorations. But um, I've got so many now between home bargains, Poundland and charity shops that are my trees full. So I didn't really need that many more, but love that. Because just in case you don't know, my trees sort of pinks, reds and a bit of gold. So after I finish this, I'm going to put that on the top of my tree. And I'm going to put the lights on it. I've realised I haven't lit it up today. The one decoration, is it the only bauble that I bought with this? I'll be honest, it were only because it were a quid. But it's like a glass bauble. Is it glass? Yeah, it is glass. But it's just got all this gold and red like leaf stuff. When I, when I did my degree, because I did my degree in fine art, um, I used to use gold leaf quite a lot to put on my images. So when I seen this, I thought, oh, I love that. You know, just it's just enough and I'll put it on my tree. It'll match my tree really well. It were a bargain at a quid. I'm surprised I managed to make it home with it, in all honesty, because I did think I was going to break it in the bag. 
because after I'd been to b and M, I then walked around all charity shops near to where I live and went to Asda. So I did think it would be a miracle if it made it home in one piece, but as luck would have it, it has. So there we are, that one. Where am I going to put it now? Don't break it, Kim. Gently put it down there so I don't break it. Oh, then I've seen this as well. Um, and so I got it. It was only £2. It's like a chocolate letter. They had them in all different letters, you know what I mean? You could have got them in all of them. Um, but I thought I'd just get one for now, see how it works out. Obviously, ah, because one of my daughters is Rose. So I thought she'd really like it. She likes white chocolate. So, yeah, thought she'd like that one. It's just really cute. It's just a little bit of something else. Alphabet chocolate. You know, unimaginatively so. It is just a letter in chocolate with a few sprinkles on it. But I'm sure she'll love it. It'll go in with her stuff for Christmas. Oh, then I've seen these. And I am going to come back to these because I'm going to do one. And I'm going to set one for the team because I actually, even though they've got milk in them, I am actually going to mix one of these up and try it for you. Right, now this is a coffee set. So they're all individual cups. And they've got... Um, sort of coffees in with either what have they got gingerbread irish cream uh, mint mocha or cinnamon i am so having the gingerbread that's my favorite out of those normally when i go to coffee shops i get soya if i can get gingerbread soya gingerbread latte you know when it gets to this time of year but i thought you know what rather than you waste your money on these things i'll take one for team and um and buy them try them out if they're nice i'll give other ones to kids you know what i mean just when they come they'll be really happy that i've got them a nice coffee won't they sitting in cupboard i thought even if you don't want to get these as presents you know as a present for people they'd be nice just to, uh, to have in over christmas and for when people come or if people come not that i get a lot of visitors making it sound like i've got an open house and the old blooming you know, the area's like dropping by. They're not. It'll be my kids. That'll be it. Okay, managed to undo it. Let's open it and see. Because I wanted to see what we're inside and, you know, what's in this cup? That's the question. Ooh, it's got some of that sticky goo on it. Right, so that's the one I'm going to try. Gingerbread latte. Let's have a look. Ooh, it's just got a sachet in it. What are you supposed to do with it? You're just supposed to sprinkle it in and then add water. Empty contents of the sachet into the paper cup provided. Fill with hot water and mix well. Add sugar to taste if required. Place the lid on securely and enjoy. Caution, contents will be hot. Right, okay. You know, stating the obvious that it's going to be hot when you're putting hot water on it. But I'm going to give that a go. I'll come back to you with that one. And I will try it and see what it's like, even though it's got a little bit of milk in it. So I got some, I've dropped it on the floor. So I got some candles as well, right? This is the one that I'm on, a, that I were on about, right? So I'm not candles, candle holders and things. So this is candlestick holder and it was three pounds. I just really liked it. But like I say, it's supposed to have one of those pillar candles, not pillar candles, one of those normal candles coming out of it. But I thought it'd just have this one sitting on top because I couldn't find anything else. It's not that attractive when it's got that dumped on top. But while I'm looking for a normal candle, which you couldn't get for love and money in my b and M, I I thought I'll go for that. Put that on top, do you know what I mean? It'll have to do for now. So yeah, I absolutely love that. I'm sort of thinking these might end up behind me, these really pretty things that I got for Christmas. It's just got a ribbon with a few things tied around it. Now I have to say some of the stuff in B&M were quite pricey for what you actually got. I'm so, oh God, I'm so hot, I'm so hot, so poorly. Right, they were quite um, pricey for what you got. And then other things were super bargains. So it were a bit hit and miss. Like for example, there were this one, wreath that were beautiful it were 10 pound right absolutely beautiful next to it there were this other thing that were literally like a wire bent round into a circle with a few little bits coming off it that was six pound that like there were just complete ends at spectrum one were gorgeous and at a really good price one were really basic and a really bad price you know i imagine that little thin one's still going to be there after christmas okay what else did i get 
Or then I bought this one, except it's got quite a lot of gold glitter on it now off that twig thing. But this were also £3. Really loved it. I like the little um, holder that it is because it's got all this patterny stuff on it. And it smells really nice. What's the fragrance? It doesn't tell you what the fragrance is. But it smells quite nice, you know. It's a bit sweet. It doesn't really smell Christmassy, but it's a bit sweet. Really cute. I just love this little extra detail on it. Thought for three quid. It's a nice bit of summer to add in your Christmas decorations. Plus, it's a candle. I mean, I'll be through that in the space of a week anymore. <laughs> Maybe I'll try not to and put it behind me for a little bit. Because I've got these really nice Christmas tree ones that I got from Poundland. I think they were a quid and three pound, those ones. And I really love them. But I also love that these had just that little bit of, you know, extra detail on them that made them a bit Christmassy. But if they're still there after Christmas, you could whip that bit off and you'd just have a nice candle. And I also, oh dear. No, it is all right. I thought I'd knock some off it. I also got this one, which were £2, I think. Um, and this is just, they had this with a little red uh, glass thing and they had it with the green. I just thought it were really cute. It's just got a little bit of summer on it. You know, really, really nice. Although everything is at the moment uh, covered in that gold glitter off me bit of twig. This is called Juniper Woods, the fragrance of this one. Really, really liked it. I said, uh, you know, I, I was asking my mother, would you go red or green? She went green. So I ended up going for green. But then I was thinking, do I have a lot of green? Well, maybe the Christmas tree and stuff. But um, yeah, I do like that one. And then I'm realising that a flower has fallen off somewhere else. Here we go. Let me see if I can reassemble it. Here it is, my twig. But the flower's fallen off it. Where's the flower come from? There. There we go. This were £2.50. Just thought it were cute. It's a little bit of extra summit to put here behind me. It's not a candle or out, it is just a little decorative thing. I thought if you were running a cafe or you had several tables and you wanted a centre a little centrepiece that you don't you know you haven't spent a fortune on, these would be great. I like the frosted bit on the leaves as well. Thought they were lovely. Like the berries and love the little red flower. Just really thought that were cute. Wish they'd had more of these in different ones, you know, but they did literally only have this one at my B&M. But love it anyway. Thought it'd go nice with the two little candles. Oh, and then I bought this. I don't normally get a Yankee candle. It says singing candle, chance de Noel. What does it mean, singing candle? That's what I didn't get. Singing candle. Uh, does it just mean that basically... They've designed all these with fragrances. Or is it actually a singing candle? This is the question. So I thought I'm buying it. I'm going to find out. Sometimes I like to buy these things just because they intrigue me, you know. Oh, it smells absolutely gorgeous. But what does it do? Does it just like, when you light it, does it just... Are they just... What I'm saying is, does it actually play a tune? The bottom looks like that. Or is it just that they're designed based on different sort of carols and things? Let's get an, um, a lighter and check it out. Okay, here we go. I don't know what's supposed to happen. <laughs> I don't know what I thought was going to happen. Because not much is happening at the moment. Tell you what, I'm going to leave it like that on the uh, on my little stand and we'll see what happens, whether anything actually happens. Just realised I didn't turn lights on on my little tree either. I'm leaving it there, it's doing now, literally doing now, just burning. But if it smells nice, I'll go with it. Last up, apart from testing the um, hot chocolatey things, coffee things, I bought these. Right, £2, I thought I'm going to try them for you. Also take one for the team, <laughs> I, um, because they've got milk in them. Has any of them, or you can't tell which ones have got milk, so I imagine they all have. So, it's basically chilli chocolate. I'm not a big fan of chilli chocolate, if I'm honest. But, I wanted to test them out. And I thought, go for ferocious. Right, go for ferocious. 
Look, they come like that in the thing. That's a bit of a con because it made it look like they were actually filling the box, but they're not. They're that big. But anyway, let's try ferocious. Wow. You can see how much chilli is in. So that's the mild, then stronger, stronger and ferocious. Let's give it a go. I might need the coffee after this just to like cool my mouth down a little bit after chilli. I do love chilli, but I'm just not a big fan. You see, I, me and carrot cake don't really get on. Because I, I just don't know what ca what carrot, what earthly use carrot has in a cake. So slightly freaks me out. I imagine, you know, it's like, <laughs> I don't know, an aubergine tart or something like that. But, you know, as a sweet thing with custard, it just doesn't seem to go for me. Right, this is it here. Let's try it. Well, it's only on top. Yeah, I can taste the chilli. I'm waiting for chilli flavour or the heat to build. Because at the moment, there's not that much heat. Because it's just sprinkled on top. To me, that's not that hot. But then I do live in Bradford, do you know what I mean? I'm used to quite fiery curries and things like that. That's not that ferocious to me. I could scoff a lot of that without, you know, without even stopping for a drink of water. But, um, you know, if you're not soaking, somebody that you know likes chilli, you know, and you want to get them a bit of something different, you can't go far wrong with these. You know, or somebody you don't like. <laughs> if you pull out the secret Santa and it's somebody you don't like, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, there's your present for him. It's only cost you two quid. Right, I'm away to go get this um, filled up and I'll come back to you. Okay, just while the kettle's boiling, I thought I'd show you what how much powder you get in it. So that's it. It's quite deep, so out there. Yeah, it definitely smells of gingerbread in that. Um, so, and a bit cinnamon-like as well, which I suppose, you know, <laughs> fine. I'm happy with that. Quite like a cinnamon latte as well. So what I'm going to do is go fill it up with water. And then I'll show you it. I'll try not to fill it too much so I actually can tip it and show you it without tipping it all over. And I'm going to do a taste test of this. Okay, I've finished it. Right, so this is it here. Yeah, I'm trying not to spill it. I've put a bit of cold water in it as well. I put hot in, boiling water in first, mixed it all around. Then I put a bit of cold in just so that I could taste it without burning my gob, you know. That's really nice. Oh my goodness, I love it. It's quite sweet, but really, really nice. Oh, that's a winner for me, that one. I absolutely love it. Love it. They'd be worth getting. They're a quid a cup. They'd be worth getting if you wanted to treat yourself. You know, going into work and stuff over Christmas. You know, leading up to Christmas and you don't want to be like paying four quid for a Starbies or a Costa. They'd be worth taking in. They're a quid a piece. Easier to transport as well because you add water when you're there. They're fantastic. I love them. I'm just going to have another drink. I know it's got milk in it. I'm sorry, but, it, you know, I wanted to test them for you. And I'm happy to do that so you don't waste your money on the stuff, she said. <laughs> Actually, I'm really enjoying it. That is proper banging uh, gingerbread latte, that. That's really nice. I don't know how many calories you get in it. Yeah, really, really nice. I love it. Would highly recommend those. Chili chocolate. Mm, it's not that spicy to me, that. But like I say, I'm used to quite spicy stuff. I'm going to tell you a quick story before I go, right? Me and my daughter once went to one of our favourite places to eat which is in Bradford City Centre and it's down from the college. It's called Myla Hall. All right, we used to love going in there. And this one time we'd been out, had a few drinks and stuff in Bradford City Centre, me and my daughter. And we went up there to get some food before we went home and decided we were going to get the spiciest curry we could get, right? Which were a veggie one. Okay. So it were all like vegan, veggie, stuff like that. And, and the guy said, do you want it, uh, me, you know, mild, medium, spicy? And we went spicy. And he looked at us, with, <laughs> eyed us with suspicion and went, you realise this is Asian spicy? 
you know, not British spicy, don't you? And we went, oh yeah, no, we've lived in Bradford all our lives. We'll be fine, right? Brings it out, it literally had all chilies in it. Whole chilies in the thing. But the thing is, me and my daughter have been like, bigged ourselves up. Yeah, yeah, we can cope with it. Too embarrassed to leave it. Me and her were sweating, right? We made it through about three quarters of it each and it was delicious. It was, it was just too spicy, really. It was, we were like, we were being stupid. So eventually the guy came back to take her um, plates and everything. He was so impressed that we managed to get through what we had. So impressed. But I'll tell you what, we've never ordered another spicy one since. <laughs> we'll get spicy stuff, but not there. Right, not there. We're not going spicy. I'll go medium when I go there. Ecky Thump, it was so, so spicy. Delicious, but spicy. Would highly recommend my Lahore down from uh, Bradford College or Bradford University, if you're ever in town. But that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details. I'm desperate not to spill this in the description box, just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye! Candle's still doing now.